so one of the questions we get asked about a lot is how do I buffer my pH up? Uh, a lot of people worry a lot about pH in a marine aquarium, um, but actually there's no need to worry about it at all. Um, there's several things in your aquarium which can affect pH, so it depends on your organics load, your oxygen level and various other factors. And so the pH will give you a guide to what the amalgamation of all those factors individually are doing. But because there's so many factors involved, that won't actually mean that it gives you a, a guide to the overall health of the aquarium in any way at all. Um, because if one of the factors, say if your oxygen level is extremely high, if you're running ozone or something, but your organics are also extremely high, then your pH will seem at a relatively normal level. And the same would be true if they were both at very low levels. So it doesn't really give you much of a guide. Um, I'd say that uh, pH is a bit like a speedo in a car. It's useful to know how fast your car is going, but if you're going down the motorway at say 50 miles an hour, and you notice everyone else is doing 70, adjusting your speedo so it reads 70 while you're still doing 50 doesn't make any difference. You're still doing 50. And adjusting your pH is a lot like that. Yeah, you can adjust your pH up or adjust your pH down, but it doesn't actually solve what caused it to be off in the first place. And what your pH is, is not a good indicator of which one of the other parameters may be an issue. So unless you're doing something which is going to vastly affect pH, in terms of dosing calc wasser, which is very alkaline, or do something, or, or running very high levels of ozone, up well above 400, where, or um, then again that, that might be worth having a look at, or if you're running something which can make the pH very very low such as you're running calcium reactor or slow flow denitrifier then it might be worth keeping an eye on but unless you're doing one of those things honestly it can be completely ignored it doesn't really have any significant effect on anything within a marine aquarium the things which cause the pH to be high or low do have an effect so if you keep an SPS coral say then keep an eye on your pH and calcium mag that kind of thing but for most other people, you can just completely disregard pH entirely. Um, marine fish often grow up in mangrove forests, and the pH there can be well below 7, sometimes even below 6, and it has no adverse effects on the fishes at all. Even marine shrimps and that can handle a pH down to like 6.5, as long as the other parameters are okay. So it's completely ignore it. So although uh, we get a lot of questions on pH. My advice is don't bother testing it, don't bother buffering it, just ignore it completely.